Hey guys, Bumble Brace here, and today we're going to be doing Titan's Return Wheelie. Now, everybody knows who Titan's Return Wheelie is. He's Wheelie from the Titan's Return line now. This is his vehicle mode. It is very shoddy in my opinion. It doesn't hold together in these little slots that it's supposed to. Sorry, my hands are green. Uh, we had painting that we did today inside glass, and I tried to get it off, but it's just underneath the nails. My bad. All the people in the comments, you can, you can attack me with your pitchforks. If you... He has an Autobot symbol on the top of his vehicle mode. In the back, there is some visible head syndrome. I guess not really, maybe that's like an exhaust pipe. Use your imagination. Uh, tail lights, nice molded detail, but he does have one playability feature. You can put a Titan Master back inside there. Let me get one for you. There he is, inside the car. Oh, look at him, now he can go drive and save Cybertron. the light there because it won't stay on. It's flickering. Uh, but yeah, as you can see when you try to put the Titan Master in, it does fall apart really, really bad. This guy just, that's the one complaint I have with him. He just falls apart way too easy. Like, come on. These notches that are supposed to be able to be pushed in do not push in because they are junk. Okay, calm down. This was a gift from Ed May Matrix. Thank you very much for it, man. Pretty cool. Check out his channel. He just did a uh, Siege Prowl review. It was pretty sweet. But yeah, I'm gonna hit this knee over here and over here. Uh, by the way, check out TF Fan Geek. He's selling a figure that you guys all need to go check out. It's a Siege figure. And I already advertised that again. Advertise that, but I'm gonna advertise it again. A uh, new CTV episode should be coming very soon with Gary Gastopoulos. Or, no, not Gary Gastopoulos. Gary, the Transformers reviewer. Australian. Oh no, I messed it up. No, I didn't mess it up. He does have a nice head sculpt. Uh, nice blue eyes on there. The shoulders that were the tail lights look really nice. Elbows, not too much because they're covered up by that. But yeah, pretty good figure. I like him a lot. Yeah, uh, orange does set off that two-tone paint job really well and if you want to you can take one of these guys and there he's holding the gun he can hold it he holds it pretty well for how small he is i mean yeah just look at that action pose so this has been titan's return wheelie do i think you should get titan's return wheelie if you want him if you'll if you try to get like all of these guys together and maybe even these two guys too. Uh, I'd get them because you know you always need a cup and you always need a wheelie because wheelie works with cup really well. I mean they're just buddies. I mean, just look, just look at that smile. He's like, oh my god, I love him. He's my best friend. Man, cup, you're looking shiny over there. It's kind of off topic, but off topic. I can't say it. off topic. There we go. Yeah, but look, look at that display we got going on there. Toy hacks. A little plug for them. Whoa, sorry about the motion sickness for that. I'm probably flying you guys around. But yeah, I, I recommend him very much if you want him. Don't, don't get the G1, the G1's trash. But, uh, that three, five modes for this guy should be coming out soon. I don't know when it will be. The Dike and Optimus Prime. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that video. Here he is over there. This is what he looks like with the uh, three guys. Kind of have a good old display going on over here. The only person that I don't have from the movies is RC and Hot Rod. But no, uh, we should be good. We should be good. This has been Bumble Breeze, guys. Hope you have a good one. Uh, signing off. Okay, we're not going to do that ever again.